Minnesota Fighting Vikings second-year defensive tackle Jalen Twyman was already an easy guy to root for, where uh, he was an underdog, undersized, coming out of pit, was a six-round pick uh, in 2021. And then, unfortunately, last offseason, he had that horrific incident where he was shot, uh, but he's made a full recovery, changed his number to John Randall's 93. That's right, taking on those expectations, and he's just going to get after it this year. Also, it's his birthday. It's his birthday on the 19th. Happy birthday, Jalen. Uh, he's only 23 years young, uh, getting after it. Also, he's getting jerked, putting in that work this offseason, man. I absolutely love it. Uh, plus, I mean, just uh, just look at him. Right, right in the middle, going to rock things out. And also, a lot of people have commented uh, on his, like, oh, why is he so short? How, how is he going to uh, dominate in the National Football League being so short? As a defensive tackle, it's actually better to be lower to the ground because low man wins, leverage, and everything. If you can still get underneath uh, some you know, 6'3", six, 6'4", six, centers uh, that play with a higher center of gravity, if you can do that uh, and still have uh, all that diesel power in the lower body and just getting it, I love it, man. I, I love it. Of course, the comparisons, Aaron Donald at, at Pitt also getting jacked. I wonder if Jalen's working out with, like, uh, boxing gloves and knives this offseason, just like Aaron Donald famously has before. Uh, and you would absolutely love to see it, man. And Jalen Twyman, he was a force. He was an absolute force in 2019 uh, at Pitt. Back in the day. Uh, he had 10 and a half sacks, 12 tackles for loss, opted out uh, of the 2020 season. Uh, lots of ra randomness going on uh, with COVID in college football that year. And he he did fall in the draft because he didn't test the grade. He certainly didn't have the best combine or pro day. Uh, and then uh, there was concerns like one year wonder, undersized guy. Was he a bit of a tweener? So the Vikings getting him in the sixth round, absolute monster value, man. So I, I cannot wait uh, to see what Jalen Twyman can do uh, in this new defensive scheme. Because even though you know, you look at the base defense working uh, as a three, four, or they're going to play a lot of three, three, five nickel. And there isn't really a natural position for Jalen Twyman. He's not a nose tackle. He's not really a five tech. Uh, he is a natural born three tech, but the Vikings uh, under Ed Donatel, new defensive coordinator, he and Fangio's defense does incorporate a lot of traditional four, two, five nickel. So I do think that uh, Jalen Twyman is going to have his opportunity as a rotational pass rusher, as a guy who can just get it where, Hey, Coming, come in, we play a four-man line, uh, line up in that B-gap and just blow it up and just do amazing things. I love it. I, I absolutely love and adore this kid. Rooting for him. Uh, Vikings fans have already rallied around him. Uh, he's already had the deck stacked against him, and I think that he is going to get a, a couple of, of sacks back, man, because he's just <sighs> – I just love him. I, I, I love me some Jalen Twyman. It's very easy to root for him. You do see parallels with John Randall. Now, obviously, that's extremely high, 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 high expectations put on, on the kid. But I think that if he's able to get on the field, he'll have a great preseason, great training camp. Uh, hopefully, he's going to make the 53-man rooster at minimum practice squad, work his way up from there. Because this is essentially his rookie year. Uh, with uh, what happened last off season, so uh, easy guy to root for, and I think that he does have a ton of talent, and I think that he's going to bring a little something, something to the Vikings defensive line, man. Uh, but your thoughts are thoughts. Jalen Twyman, ah, we're going back. Jalen Twyman's getting jerked this off season. Uh, let us know your thoughts and our thoughts in the comment section below. Subscribe for daily Vikings takes. Want to support the work? Put a little something in the Venmo. But to next time, Skull Production Value.